Can you, you formulate your question properly so that we can address it? You said that if we have aspirations or things that are bothering us that we won't we feel free to share. Okay. And then from feedback uh, that I've had that okay, I there's a gap in my communication skills so that I really, really want to work on. So, okay, so on that, this is what I would say. Um and I'm not I'm not this the ideas I want to put forth are not my my, my own. I'm actually referencing a particular book. There's a clinical psychologist called Dr. Henry Cloud. All right. He's written quite a quite a bit of clinical literature. Okay, but there's a particular book I would recommend if you if you have time to go through it. It's called um, um, Integrity. I think Integrity, the, the power to face the demands of reality or so. That's the title of the book, Integrity by Dr. Henry Cloud. Okay, so you can look for it. And he says something in, in that particular book. He says that a particular mother would, a particular mother was chasing him up and down, and she was like, she, was, she, she kept asking him that, what does what can she do that she wants him to advise her son. The mother was like, yeah, give my son advice, give my son. Advice. She, the, the, the woman caught him at the conference, dragged the son to meet him and said, can you give my son advice on how to succeed? And he said he gave the son. It was he thought that what would he tell? What would he tell the son? And then he came up with three things. The first thing he said was this: you have to attain competence, all right, in one field, preferably in, preferably across multiple fields, but you need to attain competence in one field. And competence means that by the time everybody sees you, they recognize you as some form of expert in, in a this particular thing. skill. Yeah. Yeah. You need to. And it does not mean that it doesn't mean that maybe it doesn't have to be an academic work. It could be it could be something as 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 basic to civilization as welding. So you need competence. All right. The second thing you need, all right, is you need the ability to build alliances. Why? Because the kind of things that you the kind of things you will need to to get that kind of excellence or success you are chasing. Most of the time, you can't do it alone. You, you, you need to be able to talk to lots of people. And that's where the skill of communication comes in. Your ability to convince people verbally and your ability to convince people in writing, it matters. Because the lot, a lot of the resources that you will need, all right, to succeed in whatever endeavor or business enterprise that you will choose to go into later in the future, those skills, those resources are in other people's pockets. And you have to find a way to unlock it. And the one way of unlocking it uh, is verbal and written communication. And then the third thing you need is integrity. That means that when people, when you build alliances and when you are competent and you are achieving success or you are attaining progress in whatever career or path that you are on, you do not blow it up. Okay? Either by either by either defrauding people or either by engaging in activities uh, that will betray the trust of people around you. So those three things are essential. Okay, and so in what I have spoken, when we're talking about young people, anybody starting out, the first thing is competence. The person has to be extremely, if you are skilled, you stand before, before great people and not yeah. before ordinary people. The second is you must learn how to talk. So how do you address the issue of talking? The only way you can, there are two things that people will advise you. The first thing is you have to learn to write. And that means that take your thoughts, say, and write it down. Why? Because when you write things out, uh, you Clarify writing it thoughts. clarifies your thoughts. Yeah, true. Okay. Then second, every opportunity you have to, to articulate your thoughts, you take it. Yeah. Because a lot of people, the people who govern or the people who lead in today's world are not necessarily the best people. But there are those people who have have been able to position themselves uh, as leaders, have been able to build alliances, and have been able to talk and convince people to follow them. And they've, they've also been able to live their life in such a way that they do not put themselves ahead of others in a mm. way that people get pissed at them. You understand me? So, so that's it. So if I were to advise anybody, I would say that pick a particular area in which you want to become good at and see as much as possible as how you can either study or learn as much as you can about that industry. Practically. Practically in a way that you can convert that skill into money. And that would have, if it starts out by asking, what do people want? What are the skill sets that are needed along getting this thing to people? And then what do I need to know to deliver that? Then how do I talk to people in such a way that they will be willing to part with their resources because it benefits them, not you? All right, so, and it's, it's a work in progress. Unfortunately, 
or rather fortunately, these are skills that one has to learn concurrently. People will tell you that people who get promoted in organizations tend not to be the best people. They are the people who are, who are extremely skilled there at um, navigating and interacting with people. So you, you end up finding out that some people are extremely skilled at the work they do, but put them in a room where you have lots of people and you expect them to talk and carry people along. They're not good at it. And so when it comes to, when it comes to promoting people into higher roles or when it comes to picking people to handle leadership roles, the first, people, first question that, that a lot of people who have to make that decision will ask is, what matters is not, can this person do the job? What matters is, can this person inspire people to do, the job. To do their jobs? And so they were like, who is the person, who, who, who can, who is the person that when he talks to people, people will follow and people would listen to? Or who is the person who has built those kind of alliances? And once they look at it, like, okay, this is the person that we showed. So that's why it seems as if people say office politics, this person got a promotion, he's always doing eye service. It's not necessarily eye service. The person can communicate what matters to people. Do you understand me? So now, so to, to recap every single thing we've said so that we, we, can, we, can, we can close out this show. And we'll be doing a lot of, we'll be doing a lot of that in... In the weeks and the months to come. If you have anybody who is young, who is graduating university, who is fresh in the labor market, our advice, young men, whatever job, it doesn't matter how ridiculous, just pick the first job. The first job is to get you through the door. The first job is to help you to pay the bills so that you will not be a burden to other people. The first job is to enable you to have internet access, to buy your suit, to go for job interviews. Pick that job. Save up whatever it is that you can acquired skills there look into that organization and figure out what ways can we solve problems for, for this organization and once you acquire the skills there to solve problems the next thing is this who else in this same similar industry has this problem that i can help them solve on a much larger scale do not impregnate anybody <laughs> it's important yeah, rule number one because no, money is that that's no, money no, is going to no, go no, out the door no, and all that no, go knock. learn how to build alliances and that no, means to build no. alliances okay. To build alliance, alliances means that you would have to relate to people. You must learn how to talk to people. In order to talk to people, you need to find a way to communicate your thoughts, put them in writing, so that they are clear, they are exact.